Welcome back to another Japanese Y Schwartz market update. Today I'm going to be talking about Are You For Red? D4DJ, Heavens Burns Red, and finally finish up with The Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime Volume 3. That was a mouthful, but don't forget the set is coming out for English in July. First off, we're going to start out with Yue here from Are You For You can see her in her beautiful outfit. Got that nice ribbon. She's wearing high heels and she's jumping. She's living life. She is going to stick that landing and she is expensive. You want to get her. 148,000 yen to be exact. This is off the website Yuyute. Feel free to check any other websites for different pricing. Check on Facebook. But currently on Yuyute, 148,000 yen. You're going to wonder why she costs that much it's because she's worth it right she's worth it but realistically this set came out on february 24th 2023 there was a booster box there was a trial deck there was a hundred type of normal cards inside of the booster box 36 types of parallel they were nice to you this time around they didn't give you a hundred types of parallel just 36 there was eight special rears and 10 double rears so even on the base rarity side they went regular they didn't go regular with the trial deck. As you can see, there are three special rares inside of there. So why is UA really expensive? UA showing up at 148,000 yen. I did ask a few people this morning. Uh, thankfully, the people on my Discord responded. I found out that UA is a main character, main girl anyways. And then, you know, TCG said she is a lowly vampire and that explains why she's dressed the way she is. Even though she is dressed very elegantly, she is a lowly vampire. Also, she does have some usage in decks. I see her in two soul choice over and over and over again. So she does pop up. And if you want her max rarity, this thing really expensive. Also, you may be wondering, Big B, I thought normally trial deck cases only have two SPs. You would be correct on saying that because that is what happened this time around. You have three and normally there's only two in an SP. They did not jam three SPs into a case. So on average, if you wanted one of every card, that meant you had to buy two trial deck cases. Now, I've been talking about UA this whole time. We have Shia and Tio. If you take a look at their prices, it's not sad. If you if you got those, you, I think you'd be pretty happy. 49,800 for Shia, 29,800 for Tio. Again, they're both sold out, so the prices could be higher on them. But would you actually be sad if you add those two together with all the other stuff with let's say triple rares inside of there, the trial decks themselves. It's not a bad thing. But of course, in the end you wanted the UA. Now with the SPs Again, you're going to be looking at the high card that would be UA, 49,806 left on Yuyute. We got Kaori down there at 17,800. All these cards are pretty respectable about the prices, except for Ico down there at the very end. Even Hajime over there, 19,800. And then you also got Tio in a bent over position at 12,000. 800 completely sold out that always makes me laugh just because of the way she's posing if you weren't too sure about this type of anime if they had interesting art yes they do have interesting art as you can see here here is a trial deck card triple rare and finally a double rare so you can see many more examples if you look through that card list now with the double rare, I always like to take a look at the double rare because Japanese wise sports wise, it always impresses me about the double rare pricing. You'll see here, right? We got Kaori at 980. We have UA 1280. Mew 1280. We have TO 980. Hajime 2480. You can see that. That is some fairly expensive double rare prices. Stuff that we don't see as of you know a few months ago on the English side. Now you have seven deadly sins and kagya with some fairly expensive double rares just because of people not opening but you get the point why wars on the japanese side when it comes to double rares does have some fairly expensive ones i've seen a few decks now i've seen eight door i've seen mixes of bar pants choice and again as mentioned before the two soul choice so there's a few different options people are trying out with this set right now which is pretty cool Next, D4DJ, February 24th, 2023 was the release date. There were three trial decks. They did three because 
six would have been one of each group and not everybody would have been fought just the same amount. It would have been different amounts because there are different attachments to each of these groups. By the way, there is no announcement for the English set to be released. I do hope it comes out for English because I'm not going to buy the Japanese one um, and buy it twice if that's what it comes down to it. With the SPs anyways, I originally did this on March 3rd. These were all sold out. I did not get to this video until today, March 13th. I updated this over the weekend, so March 11th, March 12th. Uh, you could see Saki there. There was five remaining now. 39,800 she is tied for the biggest trial deck SP. The other ones all sold out, which is pretty cool to see. That There's a lot of love for this set. It's amazing to me when I see this happening because D4DJ isn't like the biggest IP, right? It's not a Sword Art Online. It's not even a Data Live. It's not close to that. But there is a lot of love to the characters, to the music, to the voice actresses as well. And you can see that here with the triple rares that come inside of the trial deck. What you're going to notice is there is a lot of gray. A lot of stuff that's just gone. And these are not all of the triple rares. I did not put them all here. I just want to show you that there is a strong feeling towards all for the majority of the different groups and all the different girls. Hey, that's all I have to say about this one. There's a booster box that will be coming out. Uh, we'll see what happens with that and uh, what kind of decks people build around it. I do love these cards. They are your anniversary cards from the video game D4DJ Groovy Mix. If you do like music, if you do like anime, feel free to check it out. I, I definitely encourage it. I play Groovy Mix every day because they give you events all the time, just non-stop events. It's actually kind of tiring after a while. Uh, next up is Heaven's Burn Red that came out on February 10, 2023. I wanted to say more about DJ D4DJ, but I moved on. I moved on to Heaven's Burn Red. Heaven's Burn Red, unlike Ari Ferretta, had 100 five types of normal cards and 105 types of parallel they definitely hurt you with the amount of parallel the art is beautiful and i could see why they did it but it it's not fun to collect a set that has 105 types of parallel there are eight overframe rares 47 special rares eight triple rares 42 super rares 10 double rares which is kind of odd to me that you went the distance on the parallels you might as well have given us like 13 15 double rares while you're at it that would have made more sense to me. Now, with the SPs, first off, I'm not going to talk about that card that some people were talking about. I don't know how YouTube would actually like that. So I don't suggest writing that down there in the comments. But with the other SPs, you can see how expensive they are. 47 SPs. Insane, right? Like, So you have your ones that are not as expensive, middle of the road, and then really expensive. As you can see with that Isuzu down there at 59800 It always makes me interested to see how the prices play out. Because when you think about it, 47 SPs, how many cases do you have to open to actually get one of each? And then just to have a good supply of them out in the market. So you can see on the screen, there are some sold out. Remaining one, remaining two, remaining three. And I didn't put them all on here. That follows suit with a bunch of the other cards as well. So I would say if you are a gambling person and want one of those more expensive ones, what would you do here? Would you try to just uh, open a box or two and hope you get lucky? I would say if you like a character and you can afford it, then maybe just buy the single card if you really want it that badly. Luckily for me, there are some of these girls on here that I like that are lower in price, so I can just buy some of the singles buy some of the booster box to open for fun and the trial deck as well and i haven't opened mine yet if you're wondering it's sitting back there on that table as always my wife is really pissed off that i haven't moved any of this stuff yet oh it's uh it needs to be done we'll see when i get time to actually do that over here as always is the double rares and there are a few decks that i've seen built so far mainly it lands on the eight standby and the eight choice that's what you're going to see here so there are some expensive cards again it almost follows Ari Ferretta a little bit less on that side but uh, we got Sarah over there 980 we got Tama for 1280 Asuzu for 1780 again just pointing out that 
the Japanese side, when it comes to double rares, are pretty expensive versus what we've been seeing with English side. More importantly, the trial deck, February 10th, 2023, two overframe rares, and then we got six special rares. The main thing to point out with this one is their foil stamp. No signatures at all. So you had 47 signatures in the booster box, but when it came to the trial deck, they're like, screw it. We already gave you 47. We're just going to put this stamp on here. Uh, there was 13 triple rares, which meant you got a triple rare in every trial deck. And off there, I put the Asakura SP, and then we also have the OFR down there. I really love that OFR. It looks really cool. I think when it comes to OFRs, as long as uh, I've... I've debated this a few times now, but uh, I like OFRs as long as they don't take the slot of an SP. So this is really nice. I do enjoy this one. Uh, you can see here your SP is of 30, unit 31A. You have each girl getting their own card there. And again, no signature. The reason why I show this here is look at the prices on each of these cards. 24800 19800 19800 9980 we have Asakura sold out at 24800 And then finally, we got Ruka 29800 sold out. And I wanted to see this as an experiment, but unfortunately, Bushy Road didn't actually let me do this. Because what's going on here is you will see these cards in the decks, right? Like Asakura down there, she is in your standby deck from what I've been looking at over and over and over again right people use three of the card four of the card again you could just use the regular trial deck card but some people want to max rarity have it shiny and foily and all that so 24 800 so i know they're doing this with licorice recoil where they're putting stamp cards in the trial deck slot i really wanted to see if people were willing to buy this trial deck and all the sps in it given that they're not actually signed but because of the meta usage Kind of ruined my experiment there. I can't actually tell. So unfortunately, we're not going to see what's going to happen of this. I mentioned this before that I feel like they're going to go in this direction. This is almost the rebirth for you direction. Where rebirth for you, right? There's no sign cards in there. There's just serial numbers. So I was wondering if this would fail, right? These stamp cards would fail. If they would then go one step further and now put serial numbers on the trial decks. Uh, we won't know that for sure. I mean, because think about this one, Heaven Bird Red, meta usage. We got Ligris Recoil, which is Ligris Recoil. I need a set that is sort of midway in popularity, no meta usage that follows this exact flow. Maybe they won't ever do that. Maybe they'll just put signatures on there. But for more uh, classy art and all that stuff, maybe, maybe this is the way they're gonna go to save a bit on money. Uh, we'll see, but unfortunately, this example doesn't work out just because of the usage there. And here, your OFRs up the top is your booster box ones. Down below, the two on the bottom is your ones from the trial deck. Again, the trial deck ones look really nice. If you want the different units, get the booster box. But you can see what's going on. The pricing on the trial deck, really expensive, 14800 we got that Seraphim code down there, 9980. But up above with all the different units, the highest one is 39 sold, 3980, and it's sold out for unit 31A. Right, and I'm trying to see all the different triggers on here or standby one over there, 1480. Oh, a bunch of decks you could try out, but again, what I'm seeing is eight choice and I believe eight standby. Lastly. This is the one I wanted to touch on the most since it's coming out for actual English, actually, you know, announced anyways. Would any of these other sets come out? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But that time I got reincarnated as a slime came out on January 20th, 2023. 100 normal cards, 50 types of parallels. So uh, a little bit more than normal. We got two secret rares, seven special rares, six triple rare, 35 super rares, 10 double rares, which is nice. Again, just normal. SECs, both are Rimaru and both are sold out. 49,800 is the biggest one. 17,800 for the other one. SP-wise, there's nothing that's crazy, like as we've seen with the past greens, right? D4, DJ, we've seen Heaven's Burn Red and Ari Fred. Is there anything crazy on here? Not really. It's 
mid of the way so you can almost kind of see where i'm going with my buy and invest video when i eventually get to it uh, right there it's shuna 19800 which does have some usage in a bunch of decks so you can see here with the double rares shuna is your big one 1980 let's see what next is uh we have me lean no nope. we have our druid lady i think down there 980 and then we got Shion and Melee both at 680. So nothing too crazy as we see with the other sets, but Shuna being 1980 uh, carries a lot of the weight. And what I've been seeing for decks, which is pretty cool to see, if you actually bought into set one, set two, got some trial decks, I think you're going to be happy because I've seen a wide variety of different decks, right? I've seen Standby, I've seen Pants, I've seen decks that... Uh, use cards from set one that use cards from set two that use cards from the trial deck one example of that being Rimuru Tempest from the trial deck currently sits on TCG player for $29.98 and like I said you will see that so I would highly suggest if you are one of those people that feel like you're going to be playing slime volume th or picking up slime volume three to take a look at the decks that you want to actually play with because if you don't own all of the cards, if you just want a certain path, a certain deck, make sure to go out there, see what the card, what the deck actually utilizes, and make sure that you can pick it up before someone starts jacking it up, which Remaru Tempest was a trial deck card. It was always expensive, but I don't remember it being $29.98, and you do have some time, so uh, time is a little bit on your side here. It comes out again on July 21st. 2023 that is it for your market update as always if you need me feel free to get me any of these ways it's always in the description just let me know as always have fun be happy don't spend anything outside your budget have a good one